I'm Andrew Pollock, and in 180 seconds, I'm going to convince you that guns don't create school shootings. Leftist policies do. I know something about school shootings. My only daughter, Meadow, was murdered in Parkland. I spent a year investigating what went wrong for my book. Why Meadow died, the people and policies that created the Parkland shooter and endanger America's students. The Parkland shooting was the most avoidable mass murder in American history. And the policies that made it inevitable have spread to your school. I know what you've heard. We need better background checks. But background checks would not have prevented my daughter's murder. In fact, background checks would not have stopped a single mass shooting in this century. The gun used to commit a mass murder at my daughter's high school was bought legally. My daughter's murderer passed his background check with flying colors. Despite his many felonies, he was never arrested on purpose because of politically correct policies to decrease juvenile arrests. During the Obama administration, multiple programs were pushed on our nation's high schools to lower the rate of kids getting arrested for violent behavior. These programs typically include turning a blind eye to illegal and abusive behavior by students. Broward schools implemented the Promise program to decrease arrests, and arrests went down by 70%. It was easy. Parkland gave kids four free misdemeanors every year. Reporting felonies to the police was strictly optional. Principals were trained to not cooperate with law enforcement. Because of these criminal enabling policies, today, 52% of Broward County teachers fear for their personal safety. Only 39% of teachers think that if a student assaults them, he or she will even be suspended. This isn't just in Parkland. The Obama administration twisted federal civil rights law to coerce hundreds of school districts serving millions of the students to adopt these criminal leniency policies. According to a recent survey, these so-called restorative justice policies are now in 42% of America's schools. What's happening in Broward is happening across the country. In Baton Rouge, 60% of teachers say they've seen an increase in violence. In Jackson, 65% say their schools feels out of control. In Syracuse, 66% fear for their safety. 70% of teachers nationwide think that school suspensions have decreased because principals tolerate more misbehavior. And about half think that principals underreport problems. And almost two thirds of teachers said that there's a student in their class who shouldn't be. Sadly, criminal psychopaths like my daughter's murderer are not rare. And they'll be able to pass a background check because we're not reporting and arresting them because of left-wing policies. The same policies that led to my daughter's murder have been forced into schools across America, including yours. I'm Andrew Pollock for Turning Point USA, and I just convinced you that leftist policies create school shooters. If we want to stop school shootings, we need to arrest criminals, not ban guns. Hey YouTube, do you think big government sucks? We do too. If you like this video, you'll love our other ones right here. Make sure that you punch the subscribe button and the like button down there. Thanks for watching.